As the reign of Fire Lord Sozin went on, he looked for ways to expand the reach of his Fire Nation empire. In his eyes, he wanted to share the glory and wealth of the Fire Nation people with the rest of the world. This eventually culminated in the horrible slaughter of the Air Nomads and the destruction of their culture. But how did Sozin find the Air Temples and how did he get there? Well, the responsibility for this lies on the head of one bitter and angry Air Nomad who was jealous of Aang. So before we get into the story, make sure you hit the subscribe button for more Avatar The Last Airbender content. Residing in the Southern Air Temple, the same one where Aang lived, was a man named Afiko. Afiko had a very normal childhood growing up during the era of Avatar Roku. He played and got along with the other Air Nomads at the temple and seemingly had a bright future at the temple. Things changed however after Aang was born and was then later told that he was the Avatar before the typical age of 16. Having heard this, Afiko grew jealous of Aang and was envious of his power. Afiko was disgusted that not only was Aang the Avatar, but he also became the youngest ever airbending master. Afiko believed that he deserved to be the Avatar and that he was a better airbender than the young Aang. Now at the time Afiko was growing jealous of Aang, Sozin's plans to expand his Fire Nation empire were just ramping up. Sozin knew however that he needed to knock the Avatar off the Pai Show board so to speak, so that he couldn't prevent the war. Which angry and jealous Air Nomad happened to have both of these pieces of information? Yep, Afiko. So with the information on who the new Avatar is after Roku's death, Afiko horribly travelled to the Fire Nation and revealed the location of the Air Temples to Sozin, betraying his people. Using this information, Sozin then laid waste to the Four Temples, embracing the enhanced firebending of the Comet and slaughtering almost every single one. During his slaughter, Afiko the traitor was of course spared, continuing to give information to Sozin about the Air Nomads. He became a very close advisor to the Fire Lord on these matters and even rose to the position of his primary advisor for the war in the Earth Kingdom. Afiko even made it to the front lines, attacking and blocking rocks from Earthbenders. Now, this is where things take a turn for the dark. Fire Nation historical records indicate that despite his incredible performance on the battlefield for the Fire Army and his invaluable service to Fire Lord Sozin, he was executed for treason. Yep, Sozin used him for the path to the Air Temple and then executed him just like the rest of his kind. Absolutely horrific, but also kind of deserved. So tell me in the comments what you think of this horrible traitor to the Air Nomads, and if you'd like to see his story covered in a future show, maybe in flashbacks. Thanks so much for watching, really hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you subscribe for more awesome Avatar The Last Airbender and Legend of Korra content, and I hope to see you in the next one.